Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we learned React in seven days, built a SaaS in 30 days, and built a full stack project. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. If this video helped you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Electron 14.0 was released, Socket IO 4.2, and VS Code 1.6. Speaking of VS Code, the VS Code extension of the week is Sort Lines. This extension helps you to sort lines. You can sort alphabetically, ascending or descending, sort by line length, by variable length, by unique names, shuffle lines, and remove duplicate lines. This could come in pretty handy. Here are the latest videos in no particular order. First up, from Keep On Coding, he learned React in just seven days. Check out this video to see how it went. Next up, we have a new guest video from Traversy Media. In this one, Mitchell from TechBase gives us a React testing crash course. You'll learn about testing in React, including unit, end-to-end, -end, and integration testing with React testing library, Jest, and Cypress. Do you know what web components are? Well, check out this video from Scott at Level Up Tutorials to find out. Next up, Tiff and Tech shares with us what she's learned as a software developer working for both startups and corporations and what the main pros and cons are for each. And next, Adrian Twarg builds an amazing SaaS in just 30 days. He built Enhance AI, which uses OpenAI to help developers program easier. It can help you to interpret code, clean code, fix code, convert code, figure out terminal commands, and even generate regex expressions for you. In this video, he talks about the process of creating a SaaS and all the work that is involved. Make sure you go check it out. What's the difference between software engineering and computer science? In this video from Vicki May, she'll help you understand the differences so that you can pick a university major that best fits your career goals. In this next video from Engineering with Utsev, he gives us six tips to help us become a more productive software engineer. Be sure to go check this one out. In this next video from Gwen at Faraday Academy, she goes over View Router 4. Next up, we have an amazing video from Danny Thompson. He talks about the biggest reasons why self-taught programmers and bootcamp graduates have a problem learning. Are you confused about what, when, and how to learn something? You have to go check out this video. In this one from Chris at Better Dev, he gives us his 20 favorite VS Code themes. I did notice that there was one theme that was missing from the list, but that's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Do you use Visual Studio? If so, Visual Studio 2022 Preview is now available. Check out this video from Claudio Bernasconi to find out what's new and why you might want to upgrade. If you want to understand the differences between Svelte and Vue, go check out this video from this.steffi. She builds a simple game app with Svelte and does a side-by-side -side comparison with Vue along the way. Next up, we have a beginner full stack project from Kyle at Web Dev Simplified. In this video, he builds a Haspin clone. Haspin is a site that allows you to quickly share code. This is the perfect beginner full stack project that uses Node.js, Express, and MongoDB. Speaking of MongoDB, there was a great live stream from Lauren Schaefer and Luce Carter from MongoDB. They talk about how and why you should raise your profile as a developer. If you want to advance your career, this stream has so many gems. If you put these practical steps into action, you'll be promoted before you know it. In this video from Jeff at Fireship, he builds a decentralized chat app using the Gun JavaScript library. The Web3 technology is new and cool and something that's on my list of things to learn. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. Have you ever wondered why hyperlinks are blue? If you haven't wondered that, now you do. So go check out this article from Elise Blanchard on the Distilled Mozilla blog. For podcasts, give the Remotely Interesting podcast a listen. In this latest episode, Cassidy, Phil, Tara, and Jason talk about BYODB, bring your own database. I thought this Instagram post from Front End Joe was great. In this short carousel, you'll learn how to build a bottom navigation menu using CSS. And did you know that there is an acronym to remember the seven primitive data types in JavaScript? Well, apparently it's buns. Go check out this TikTok from JSBits. 
Again, there's more info in the newsletter. The link is in the description. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.